Hey, what's going on today, guys? Today I got a package to unbox. So make sure you watch the full video. Um, I picked up these two reptiles. Watch the full video so you know what they are. Um, I'm going to be taking them out of this box and I'm going to set them in there uh, until I can give you guys a close up on them. Um, the person I bought it from said that they're pretty flighty, so hopefully that they're not, uh, they can't jump out of here. But the, that's the cage right there that I'm going to be keeping them in. Set up yesterday. Here's a little clip of the full, um, full cage. But I'm going to go ahead and open this box and then give you guys a close up. Um, these are Rotons, or the scientific name is um, Stenosaurus Arderina. I might be butchering that, but I'll put the scientific name right here on the screen. Um, but we just go, we just like to call them roll tons. Um, they're very rare. Not many people are working with them. So I'm going to set you guys up on this little stand while I open this box. So make sure you tune in. And um, if you have any questions, um, let me know. Um, so Tenosaurus are what the Peleoris are as well. So they're in the same family. But these guys are a little bit actually more a hot, whole lot more rare um in hobby so we'll go ahead and set you guys up and we we'll get into the box and unboxing Let me get this camera on the more able to put a phone this way too much. Actually what I'm gonna do is bring this chair over here. I'm not sure if they bagged or in a container. And that's a scientific name right there. Arterina, whatever that's pronounced. Wow, so you got the sexy women. This is the male. Yep, flighty. <laughs> oh, wow. That's super nice. And as they get bigger and bigger, they get like white on them. Right there. That white grows on them. Looks like I don't have any missing toes. 
Has a little bit of nose rub because it, it's kept in an outside enclosure. But right now we're gonna unbox the female. I already take her out her bag. The female um, has a regen tail. For some reason, she's a little bit more active already. Um, get some. This is a female. The male is a pretty good size. This one's too. She's not as dark. Very flighty. It's gonna be hard to get y'all some good video of it. That's her. She has a little bit of a regen tail. You let me know prior to buying her though. Let's see it there. Like I said, she's not as dark on the body as a male, which is expected. We'll get her into her cage and I'll try to get some video of them inside of the cage as well. And some of them have like bold white stripes down the side. You can see the white spots. Some of them have like more white on them. So possibly the babies. And there goes the mom, or the female, I should say. And she's not as pitch black, but still nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and let them guys sell them. Throw some things in here. Second platform up here. As you guys seen on a uh, little clip I put in earlier. But that's my pair of Rotom Spiny Toy Gunners. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm gonna let them settle in and hopefully I'll be having babies next year with friends. Too. Still gotta do a couple more things to the cage. Um, I want to put uh, some rocks on the bottom, similar to what I have in the um, in your master cages. Some type of mountain type form on the bottom, so they can go hide inside of there as well, and they can climb up if they want. I'm going to make a bigger cage as well so that they can have a whole lot more space. But I just put them in here for the time being. It's not overcrowded or anything. But soon I'll be upgrading pretty much everybody. I want, I want all of them to be in a cage that I can walk into. 
So probably like seven foot cages, maybe seven by four. Seven foot tall, four foot wide, four foot deep. So almost like a oversized phone booth. And then once I get that done, I'll be pretty much set. I pretty much got all the species I want. I want a couple more species of your masters. Um, but for spiny tails, I think I'm done. I might get another pair of those if one come available because those are very rare. It's not many people working with them. My buddy actually has, I think, a trio of them. But they're they're smaller than those ones. But yeah, along this wall, I'm gonna make those cages seven seven by four by four, and I, so that'd be big enough for me to walk inside of. I'll probably put like a um, like a high box that's strong enough for me to sit on, so it'd be like a pretty much like a seat in there, but it's also a high box for them. I can go in there and just feed them and stuff like that. That would be nice. But I hope you guys enjoyed that unboxing. I'm very excited to own these very rare lizards. Um, you won't see these guys often. That's, that's something I guarantee you won't see often. This is my... I'm only the second person I've seen them in real life. Even at shows... Reptile shows. I seen one other one, and my friend bought that one. It was a reptile show. So yeah, I'm leave them alone. Um, hopefully, we get eggs next year. If we don't, then I'm fine with that as well. I'm try to work with them um, as far as handling. See if we can get them a little calmer. They didn't try to bite or anything. They just trying to get away. So I probably was making it worse by holding them a little tighter, but I didn't want them to get away in here, and that that would be another benefit of those walking cages, so I can handle them and they can run off if they want, and they won't, they won't they'll have a, a chance of getting out and getting lost or anything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys some greens. Um, this will be the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys own this species or know someone that owns this species, please um, contact me on Instagram. Here's a link to my Instagram because I'll be interested in possibly getting some more depending on uh, price, of course. Um, but I do want a, probably another pair or maybe another female. So I have one male, two females. That'd be perfect. But I'm out of here, guys. Have a good one.